back to World of Tanks. There we go. Um, so, yes, welcome back to World of Tanks. We're here on Siegfried Line in an assault game um, in the heavy tank number six, the Japanese Tiger, the mighty, mighty um, Panzer of uh, the Third Reich. Um, and well, I want to get a mark of mastery on this, on this tank, obviously, um, because it's, it's a tiger. Um, but, so, as you can see, I have my Japanese writing, and I think that the Japanese camouflage here looks wonderful on the tiger. I think it really suits it. It, it just looks so amazing on this tiger. I wish that you could have this on the, on the regular tiger. Um, but, anyway, so yeah, I'm trying to mastery this tank, so I was playing a couple of games in it, and this is the first one. Um, I had, so I'm driving up here and I was completely oblivious to that T1 Heavy. Um, didn't even realize that I could shoot at him until um, now. And so I sort of looked over there and I was like, oh, I can shoot him. He can shoot at me, of course, as well. But I fire a shot, do some nice uh, damage there, reload the gun, and just as I go to fire, he gets killed. Looking for a shot on the Cromwell B, unfortunately. Um, no, he's behind some buildings. And then there's this KV-85, who puts a shot into me, but then I put a nice shot into him. Um, I spotted that guy, of course. Um, this tank does have pretty good view range, so people are putting shots at that KV. Um, but he then disappears, so I decide to... Um, well, I was, I'm was i sort of camping down here, I'm sort of hull down in this position, waiting for that KV to pop up, but unfortunately he doesn't, so... I eventually realize that, which is about now, and I start to move. Um, I move this tiger. Um, so the ELC is going off scouting, he's not over there, alright, let's move up. So there's a T20, uh, T67 over here, pop up, took a snapshot right into his hull, kill him off. There's a Largo, a little tier 4 Largo, poor, poor guy, fire a shot, it goes straight over, he's firing I think AG at me, and that's just bouncing straight off. Um, so he's not having fun against me. There's an M6 over there, but he's hiding behind a building. So I start to move up. There's that guy over there. I put one blind shot over at him, but it doesn't hit. I didn't have to worry about artillery, as you can see. No artillery in this game, which is all very nice. Um, move, fire a shot on the move. It hits that Largo. Nice shot right over there. So you can see moving up, there's a duck over there. Um, the Lago is starting to move out, so I'm like, nope, you cannot run from your destiny. Um, so, oh, I just noticed that we actually had, the, uh, had an AFK KV-1 this game, so there he is, <laughs> actually in the team list. So, moving up, chasing down this Lago. Um, driver, get us into a elevated position. Fire at the Lago. So, I fire, the shot goes over him, unfortunately, but, um, well... Stop running, you'll just die tired. Good shot. Panzer kaput. Find us a new target. So, spreading the might of the tiger towards these people. Um, swinging around. It's just a magnificent tank. Do love it. That's why I want to master it. Because um, it's just such a beautiful tank. Um, there's a T-3485 over there. KV-1, the Panzer IV. Um, so, I'm continuing to move up um, in our Panzer. Um, we must liberate this town from the enemy. Claim it for all. Um, there's an A43 over there. Um, and see, we push into the town. M6 to the right of us. Uh, Panzer IV to the left. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. And so I pop out. Bang! Nice shot straight into the Panzer IV. Panzer IV starts backing up, my reload is going to make sure that I kill him before he can run. There we go. Kill him off. Now it's just that M6 over there. I drive around and I didn't realise that, that he's closer than he was. So if he fires at me, he bounces. Um, and I unfortunately bounce off his turret because, well, it's just his turret. But there's a there's that Sav. I'm trying to put a shot into that Sav. That one goes straight over him. And then the A43 appears and he has a rapid fire 57 on him. So... I'm still backing up, get shot in the side by the T-3485. Luckily I was already reloaded so that doesn't affect me. He then blows off my track, I need to get my Amarak 
back in, so I repair my Amarak. He didn't stick around because, of course, we have this IKV with us. He pops around, I put one shot into him, and do a nice 200 mine damage, destroy his track, and then the IKV finishes him off. Now there's that A43, popped out, put a shot straight through his drive wheel, backing up, now trying to angle the tank. The M6 has now been killed off, there's a bounce from the A43, I pop out again, put a shot, goes straight over over his hull, it's a low, low hold thing, that thing. So, but, and so he puts one shot into me, but as it happens, um, he doesn't stick around because he's getting outflanked. There's the Sav, shot straight into him, almost went too high, but it hit the very top of the superstructure, but the armor on that and I was just able to penetrate straight, straight through. Tried putting a shot straight through that building, unfortunately it didn't work. IKV hits him, I go for the ram, but then the VK finishes him off, unfortunately. Um, and now it's just the IKV and the SU-100, and well, we now know where the SU-100 is, because he's just killed off the S-35CA. Um, S um, but we also know that there's an IKV over here somewhere, so I pull up here, we're starting to count the base, and I'm trying to spot the guy, there he is, he comes through, I fire at him, he decides not to go for me, but instead goes for the heavy next to me, so I'll take advantage of that. Oh no, he hits the T-3485 next to me, and indeed he finishes him off the T-3485, but only after he reset the base again by the VK, I believe. Um, so we're not going to win by capping now, unfortunately, um, but instead this SU-100 is over here. So. I'm waiting to see if that SU-80, if, if that SU-100 will try and hit me and reset the base, but as it happens, he doesn't, um, and he gets killed off right there. So, yeah. But that was the Japanese Tiger. Um, just look at this magnificence of of engineering. Um, and so that game, I came top of the team um, with an Ace Tanker. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, um, right there. Also got a high caliber and a Confederate medal on top of all that. Um, 43,092 base credits. After a primary supply man, I got 32,063 credits. Um, exactly 1,200 base XP, times three for a triple win of the day, plus 360 for being a premium vehicle, meant that I got a grand total of 3,960 XP. So, almost 4,000 XP that game, after all of the rewards and everything. Um, and, well, yeah, just look at it. It's, the, it, it's a tiger. Um, so, yeah, the Japanese tiger. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.